Hello and welcome guys, welcome to Cracksway YouTube channel and today in this video I'm gonna show you how can you install latest magic app on your Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. I will show you its features, specifications and other things. I will show you on which graphic and on which frame rate you can play the game PUBG. I will show you its unto do benchmark score. I will show you either camera to API is enabled or not. I will show you either phone is rooted or not and many many other new features. So make sure you watch the video until the end and without wasting time let's get started. So as you can see here, this is Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro and I'm going to install the latest Magic app on it. So for this what you have to do is, you have to simply download this file from the description below. This is the Magic app ROM G file. So make sure you download this file from the description below. And then after you have to just go to the custom recovery mode. And if you don't know how to install the latest custom recovery on your Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro, then I have made a separate video on it. You can check the video will be in the description or in the card section also. So make sure you watch that video you and install latest custom recovery on your Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. And to go to the recovery mode just go to the about phone section and click on system update. And you can see there is three dot just click on it. And you can see there is reboot to recovery mode. Just click on it to go to the recovery mode and click on reboot now. So now your phone will reboot to custom recovery mode or you can press the power button and the volume up button simultaneously so that you can be redirect to the custom recovery mode. And I have installed latest custom recovery piece black on my Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro and you can see we are in custom recovery piece black mode right now. So this is how custom recovery piece black looks like. So what you have to do is you have to just click on the wipe button first of all. And then click on advanced wipe and from here select Telvik, system, catch, data and fender and then swipe. And wiping process has been completed. Now go back and click on install button. And from here you have to select the Magic app ROM zip file that you have downloaded from the description below. So just click on it and then swipe it. And this kind of interface will appear and you can see there is a stable app series written there. Okay, just click on next button. And if you want to do some changes you can do but I will suggest you to just click on the next button and next button again. And the process has been started here. So this will take some time so I will skip this process. Okay now the process has been completed now click on agree button and then swipe it and then click on reboot system. And your phone will reboot here and this might take some little bit of time so I will fast forward this process as well. And you can see we have successfully installed Magic F on our Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro and this is the simple basic boot setup so I will fast forward this process as well. And successfully we have installed Magic F on our Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro and you can see this is how it looks like and I have installed some application on it so that I can show you its more features. So you can see this is Magic F on our Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. And now I will show you its all specs and you can see the device name is Redmi Note 5 although it's Redmi Note 5 Pro and you can see the MIUI version and you can see the Android version Android Pie and you can see the Android security patch level of 2019 6.1. Okay now I will go back and show you its camera what features are available in the camera either AI mode is available or not and you can see I will open the camera application. And you can see there is AI mode available that means artificial intelligence mode is available. And now let's check either 4K video recording option is available or not. And you can see there is 4K video recording option available as well. Okay now I will go back and check either camera to API is enabled or not. So I will click on the start button and you can see all the green signals indicates that the camera to API is enabled. That means you just have to install the Google camera on your phone and you can enjoy the Google camera on this room as well. And now I will check either phone is rooted or not. And you can see the phone is rooted as well. And now I will show you unto to benchmark score and on which graphic and on which frame rate you can play the game PUBG. So I will show you this thing later on. So make sure you watch the video until the end. And for now I am going to the setting menu and show you some features on the setting menu. 
and on display setting you can see there is display size reading mode and dark mode option available as well on the system font you can see there are two options right now and when you click on this button you will see lots of options available so you can choose any font you want it to and below there there is text size option available when you click on it you can increase or decrease the text size and for now i'm going to increase the text size so that you can see the font clearly and at last there is system animation option available when you click on it you will see four options and you can choose any one you want it to and now i will go to the sound and vibration and you can see there is volume bar location option available and you can now change the volume bar on right or left on which you want it to and on the lock screen and password you can see there is fingerprint and face unlock option available and there are other features like on miui roam and now i will go to the advanced setting and you can see there is lock screen clock format and you can change the clock format on which you want it to on the lock screen mode and now i will go to the notification and status bar setting and you can see there are lots of features available like in miui roam and there is battery indicator option available as well and you can see there are lots of features lots of options available on the battery indicator option so you can choose any one you want it to and now i will go to home screen and recent and you can see similar feature available like in miui room but the interesting feature is the home screen layout you can see there are lots of options available in home screen layout and you can choose any one you want it to and below there there is blur app preview option available and camera is already selected you can select other options also and i will open the camera application and i will press the recent navigation button and you can see camera application is blurred out and other applications are not blurred so this is the new interesting feature available in magic app roam and like in mi ui roam there is full screen display option available as well and there is screen time option available and when you click on it you can check for how many hours you are using your phone and below there at last you can see there is unlocked 83 times written there that means i have unlocked my phone for about 83 times and when you unlock again it will increase the number and now i will go back and click on battery and performance i'll click on power uses and i will click on that and so that you can see the graph and you can see there is a messy graph but the battery backup on this room is very good uh, it gives about seven to eight hours screen on time so the battery backup is very good and now i'll go to the additional settings and similar features like in mi ui room available like second space 100 more quick ball available and now i'll go to app lock setting and on app lock setting you can add your face data also and there is also one feature available in this room so for this you have to enable the developer option so for this you have to go to the my device and go to the all specs and here you have to tab on mi ui version about seven to eight times then your developer option will be enabled now go back and go to the additional settings here you will see developer option so just click on it so just click on developer option and you will see extended power menu so just enable it and when you long press your power button then you will see fast boot and recovery mode available there so you can directly go from there and when you disable this it will disappear so i will enable this feature okay now i'll show you on which frame rate and on which graphic you can play the game pubg and the antutu benchmark score as well and you can see the antutu benchmark score is 118032 which is very very good now i will open the game pubg and you can play the game pubg on balanced graphic and on medium frame rate only there is no any sd mode available right now and there is one feature available in almost every magic room and that is you can play youtube video on 4k resolution as well and you can see here i'm playing the youtube video on 4k resolution and one of my subscriber was facing network issue in this room and told me to review this room and thank you for your suggestions and i'm really grateful that you guys are helping me by supporting and suggesting so guys please keep supporting and suggesting so thank you once again and you can see here how fast is fingerprint sensor the fingerprint sensor is working perfectly fine and is really very quick and this is all about the magic app room do you like this room or not please make sure you comment down below and give your suggestions that will be very helpful for us so i hope you understand how to install this latest magic app on your xiaomi redmi note 5 pro and i hope i show you all the features of this room and if i missed any features so guys please make sure you comment down below that will be very helpful for us
so that's it for today guys hope you like this video and if you like this video just let me know hit that like button comment below if you have any kinds of queries suggestions or any kinds of problem and share this video as much as you can and don't forget to subscribe to our crack Street youtube channel and hit that notification bell as well so that's it for today see you in my next video until then goodbye